Also on the presidential reflection front, a local man tonight sharing the story in never-before-seen video of President Ronald Reagan when the Illinois native returned to his roots for the very last time as News 8's Chris Miner reports an amateur photographer from Tampico trailed. Mother's Day 1992. Big crowds as Ronald Reagan makes his final visit home to Illinois, choosing to return to Tampico where he was born. Going upstairs where I was born. And this has been locked away. No one's, there's parts here no one's ever seen. You're the first person to see this. Ken Wenland shot these rare, raw home movies of the first and only time the former president and wife Nancy toured inside the tiny apartment where he was born. The only video camera allowed inside that day. This is the room where you were born. Well, well, well. Now we don't have any furniture. That's all the big. So we got what we thought was appropriate for the period. I wouldn't remember. No. <laughs> Edmund Morris, who's the, the presidential biographer, came along with us. When you were born in this terrible winter weather, this is, oh, wait a minute. Yes, oh. Oh. Dr. Terry. Dr. Dr. Terry was scary. Yeah. My father was ran, running down the street, ran down the street to get him. Oh, uh -huh. it was so early in the morning. How this regular guy connected with the 40th president is a true tale in itself. Wenlin was a volunteer tour guide here at the Ronald Reagan Museum in Dixon. One Monday, an out-of-town couple showed up, but the place was closed. Wenlin gave him a tour. This man introduced himself as Burl Sprinkle. He told me his name. He said, my name is Burl with a B, Burl Sprinkle, and this is you know, his wife. Could we please have a tour? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll move the vacuum cleaner aside. So, you opened up so I opened it up okay, even though we're close. Turns out Mr. Sprinkle was Ronald Reagan's economic advisor at the White House, impressed with Wenland's kindness and Reagan knowledge. And he goes, you, you don't know what I was doing. He goes, when I was asking those questions, I was quizzing you. He goes, without anybody knowing, we wanted to have somebody come here from the White House to see how the tours were being conducted. And you passed the and test. And he goes, you not only passed the test, you got an A+. plus. Two days later, at my house, the phone rings. My wife picks it up. She looks at me, and she almost looks pale. She goes, it's the White House. Months later, the president, already out of office, met with the Wenlin family in California, sporting a buzz cut due to surgery after falling off a horse. They think the horse saw a snake is what they think. And the horse threw him, and he fell down. And when he went down, Nancy told me his head hit a rock. Okay. Goodbye, Grant. Over the next three years, Wenlin helped escort the Reagans for two visits to Dixon and Tampico. That's him on the right. The best way to describe him to people is he's just so down to earth. It was just like someone you grew up with. Come on, Grant. Tagging along with his young son, Grant, in 1990, while the hometown boy turned president, shocked patrons at Lowell Park near Dixon. Some of the people in the park were like, oh, my gosh, it's Ronald Reagan, you know. Wenlin rolled his camera as the president skipped stones on the Rock River where he worked seven summers as a lifeguard and reportedly saved 77 people. He said, no, believe me, it was true. And he goes, I didn't dive in the water unless I had to. He goes, I only had one swimsuit. Two years after the Tampico trip, the president would announce he had Alzheimer's. Wenlin recalls now there may have been a foreshadowing moment when Reagan is visibly alarmed in the gift store when he can't find Nancy who's right in front of him. That part I remember just being kind of surprised that all of a sudden he just turned around and looked at me so startled like, Where, where's Nancy? Where's Nancy? And right away I was like, right here, right here. We were all, all of a sudden, even the Secret Service, like, right here, right here. And in retrospect? And they, in retrospect, I kind of think of that. Maybe this was some of the start of Alzheimer's. Well, good to see you, Mr. President. Take care. Thank you very okay. much. Nice to see you. Goodbye, Grant. Hi. <laughs> he remembers your name. Wenlin would never see the president again. They told me flat out he may not even remember you. And I just made the decision, and I, I told them, I said, respectfully, I'd rather remember him the way that he was. Do you want to get me again? Chris Miner, WQAD News 8. And he most definitely has not forgotten. Thank you, Chris. For the historians out there and before Chris starts getting emails, President Reagan visited Tampico once before back in 1976 before he was president, but had not toured inside his birthplace until that final visit in 1992.